Hi, I'm Blake. And I'm Lisa. And we're the Clyatt family. When we first met and got married, everything was good. Um, we had what would appear to be, a, you know, the happy family life, the home life was good. Mm -hmm. We started going to a Catholic church. Uh, we were going pretty much every week. But when Hurricane Ike hit, um, we realized that the church may have been a focus in our life, but God wasn't. Instead of knowing to turn to God, we, we just didn't know how to handle the issues. Uh, everything fell apart. Uh, I was laid off because of the hurricane. I was fortunate enough to take a, a job immediately, but it wasn't the ideal job for a family. It was traveling all the time. I was in and out. I never knew when I would be home to spend time with my family. Uh, I was gone sometimes a month at a time. Um, I, knew, I knew it was stressing our family, but I had no idea what was really going on behind the scenes. After Blake had started taking the job working out of town all the time, I was also laid off, so I was staying home with the boys. Um, one was one year old, we had an eight and a nine year old. And uh, the baby was just learning to walk and taking the boys to and from practice and everything. Um, life just came at me full force, I couldn't handle it. And um, it slowly threw me into a drug addiction. I started having friends over on the weekends. And um, before I knew it, I was doing drugs all the time and it had taken control of my life. Um, I was still trying to take care of my kids and maintain a marriage that was quickly disintegrating. While I was out of town, I started uh, doing things and going places that I, I knew I shouldn't have been. Um, and out of shame, I was lying about it. But honestly, she knew and I just kept lying. Because of all the lying, I was fed up. I walked out, I left my kids, and I left my husband. I was done, and I started using drugs full time, and I sold to support myself and my habit. I couldn't remember a time when I wasn't using. It was just a normal, everyday part of life for me. And on January 20th, I got arrested for drugs. That morning she got arrested, uh, when the officer called me, told me where she was, uh, it decided to go ahead and bond her out. We were going to try and, and make it work. And um, from that point on, it took about nine months until I actually signed for my time because I was doing the in and out court game. And uh, I signed for two years on September 20th, 2010. A few months later, I ended up getting another job where I was able to stay home more with the kids. And through that job, I met a friend and he started talking to me about God again and, and about the importance of an actual relationship with God. And he had mentioned that maybe I try this church called Triumph in Nederland. He said it was a really good church. And it wasn't until a few months later I was walking through the mall and I saw the banner. And I just, something clicked and I said, I, I really need to go try out that church. I'd been coming to Triumph for about a month. And even though we were going to church, I, I still, in, in my mind, I was getting a divorce. And I'd already paid for the lawyer. Uh, I just thought I couldn't chance it again what if it happened again and uh, even though I thought I was getting a divorce God started working in me and I just started feeling this really heavy feeling on my heart and I, w and I just felt the, the need to pray one day in my house and I stopped and I just asked God am I, to make that decision for me because I, I can't trust myself to make this decision and instantly it was like just a weight lifted off of me and I heard this uh, it's just this really strong voice today, don't divorce your wife. And I knew immediately that everything was different. While I was in jail, God had gotten a hold of me and um, told me I need to be persistent with Blake and give him time. So I just kept praying on that and stayed strong with God. On December 20th, I called Blake just to talk to Asa to see how he was doing. And um, Blake let me know that he wasn't going to be divorcing me, that it would take some time, but that we were going to make it work no matter what. During that conversation, I just I wanted to share with her what, what God had put on my heart and um, told her that he didn't want me to divorce her and no matter what, we were going to make this work. And even that a few days after that, I started to question again, and that what if it happens again? And, and God told me that, and basically, do you have faith in me or not? That's what he said. And since that day on, I didn't question it, and no matter what, it was going to work, we were going to do it with God, and everything was going to be okay. From that point on, Blake started coming to visit me and writing regularly, and uh, God was just working amazing in our relationship. Uh, Blake would send me scriptures, and um, we wrote about God all the time, and just seeing the transformation that 
God has done in our lives and that He's done in my husband and in my life and in our family's life altogether has been an amazing, amazing, awesome thing. On August 29th, on a Monday, I was able to finally go pick her up and bring her home. And, the... and that following Wednesday, I had attended my first worship service here at Triumph. And um, I'd seen the amazing difference it's done in my husband's life, so I was ready to experience it for myself, and it was everything that um, I thought it would be. And I love the people here. They are true church family here, and just it was amazing, and I love it, and this is where we are now.